Hey, what's up, homies? You Fragman here. Welcome to another fragrance review video. Um, before we start, um, I wasn't sure if I was gonna say anything on this topic, but um, I, I didn't know if it was appropriate or not. But I, I felt like I needed to say something. Um, I just wanted to send my condolences to um, Carlos Powell's family, um, or Brooklyn, Brooklyn fragrance lover, as we all know him in the community. Sorry, um, y'all know I'm still pretty new to the community, and um, it when I saw that that happened, I was I couldn't believe it was real. Um, Carlos was actually one of the first YouTubers I ever watched whenever I um, started getting into fragrances. I, um, he had so much energy and charisma and, and he knew so much about fragrances. I learned so much from him. Um, I even like to admit that I styled the way I record my videos after him even though his were <laughs> are way better than mine. Um, he, um, and every time I watched his videos, I, I would sing along to the, the BFL theme song. And even now I still have it, um, stuck in my head whenever I watch videos and stuff like that. It's so catchy and I love it. Um, but I know it probably doesn't mean much, but, um, I just wanted to send my condolences to, um, his family. I, I hope they're doing okay. Um, I'm going to link their, uh, GoFundMe for the funeral, uh, down below and, um, I know not everyone watches this gonna be religious, but um, I, I believe he's in heaven right now, um, dancing on the streets of gold and smelling all of his favorite fragrances um, that he loves. So yeah, I, I thought I'd start with that. Um, but now let's get into the review video. Um, today we're gonna be talking about Moschino Toy Boy, which, you know, everyone knows pretty much that Moschino is known for their extremely weird bottle styles. I mean, I when I saw this, when it first came out like two years ago, I could not believe this was real. And then I started doing research and I looked through Moschino's um, uh, library of fragrances and uh, I saw stuff that I think is actually weirder than this. I think one of them was like some kind of Windex uh, sprayer. It was something like fresh or something written on it. Um, it literally looked like a Windex bottle. And um, after I saw that, I knew, you know, this isn't the weirdest thing I've ever seen. Um, some of the marketing material was definitely different too, um, especially for designer releases and, and just like the ball design, the notes are really weird too. But let's, let me show you all the box first. Very nice presentation. Sorry for the glare. You can kind of see the, the bears outlined on the back. Not much in the bottom. So uh, my batch code is actually HN1902. I know some people like that kind of stuff. Here's the bottle. It's a fairly heavy bottle, actually. Um, it's not as heavy as Rochas uh, Mustache EDP, which is the heaviest bottle I own. That one's extremely heavy. Um, I'm actually kind of scared sometimes that the weight's gonna break my stand. Um, but this bottle is still relatively heavy, so be careful. Um, we got a cap that actually clicks into place, even though I still, I mean, you can pick it up by the cap, but I, I still would make it a habit not to do that, or else you'll you'll break atomizers like I've done in the past. And here, let me waste some sprays for y'all. So, if y'all know, if y'all are in one of the fragrance Reddit groups, you know I, I actually posted about this in there. Um, I, I when I first watched a bunch of reviews on this fragrance, I saw that every reviewer had a pressurized atomizer, which basically means you can control the amount of the amount that you spray out. And mine isn't like that. And um, my batch code checks out. It matches the bottle in the box. If you want to see the bottom of the bottle, it says HN1902, just like the box. But my atomizer wasn't pressurized. Um, this was an eBay bottle. I did post some photos up there. Um, my Reddit is still my, my YouTube name, so check that out. Um, but it's weird, and I, I think it's legit. Um, I have no reason to believe it's not. Um, but yeah, um, everyone was saying probably is legit. I mean, why would you rip off a bottle like this? You know how hard it would be to recreate this bottle? I mean, that's insane. <clears throat> um, but with that out of the way, let's get into the scent. So let's go with through the notes and talk about the perfume. The perfumer is Jan Weisner. I, I probably butchered her name. I apologize. Um, and he's done some Joe Malone and Tom Ford fragrances. Those are the most that I've seen. There's so many different ones. I think he did like Velvet Orchid for Tom Ford, which I know is pretty popular. Um, we got top notes of pink pepper, pear, nutmeg, alemni, I think that's how you say it, and bergamot, excuse me, middle notes of rose, magnolia, clove, and flax, and a base of Haitian vetiver, cashmere, sil, I cannot say this word, sil, collide, amber, and sandalwood. So, oddly enough, for having rose as a base note, that is the first thing I get just immediately off the first blast which is crazy um and if you're not into rose 
I, I still don't think you're gonna like this. Um, I know some reviewers have been saying, <clears throat> excuse me, that this would be a great um, introduction to rose-based fragrances. I still don't think this would change your mind on that front. Um, it's definitely a, a middle, a, this should be unisex, I'm just saying that straight up. Um, I know it's marketed towards men, but you gotta be confident to wear something like this, so I'm being honest. Um, if I was still early in my fairies collecting career, I think I would have an issue wearing this. Um, it definitely wouldn't appeal to my, um, my younger side where the musky fresh fragrances were, were the, my favorite, like Polo Blue, obviously. <clears throat> but this is a rose bomb, and the first thing I thought of when I sprayed it was actually um, Victor and Roth Flower Bomb. That was the first thing I thought of. I can't remember if there's rose in it, but it's just, it's just so flowery. And I know it's actually on Fragrantica, it's it's categorized as a woody spicy. I don't get much spicy from this. And the dry down, I get the woods, but the spiciness does not come out to me too much with, with my nose personally. It's more of a floral woody in my, my personal opinion. <clears throat> but I know other people pick up the spices a little bit more like the pink pepper and stuff. Um, but it it's different. And as everyone has already said, you know, this is an older fragrance. In terms of uniqueness this is one of the most unique designers i have ever worn and I, I can see why it was so hyped up i mean i can't remember what came out in 2019 exactly but i know this one was being hyped up just because it was different um a lot of stuff around that time just wasn't really i, I think doing it for a lot of the bigger reviewers and when this came out it was just it was so different they had to jump on it and i see why um i love having it in my collection um ordinarily i'd be a little weirded out by having a big bear just sitting on my stand but considering the ferrets is still really nice um i, I love it and I'm, since it's so heavy i'm afraid it's gonna break my stand just like rochas um, but like i said you have to be a little bit bold to wear something like this you gotta wear something like this you gotta be confident you gotta be just not too worried exactly because i think you'll still get compliments from this um, but for me personally, I got compliments for the wrong reasons. I actually got a compliment on this when I first started wearing it. And the, the woman said it because it smelled like her perfume. And I was like, oh, damn. <laughs> That's not why I wore something like this. Um, but it's a compliment nonetheless. Um, uh, the, scent, the scent profile, like I said, it's teetering on feminine. But like it takes a lot of confidence to wear. Um, longevity for me was not that great. Honestly, I got about six hours, which is for an EDP concentration is not too great. I have fresher fragrances that last longer than in my collection personally, and it didn't have the greatest sillage. I'd say it's a low to medium. Um, maybe for the first hour, I could get it closer to arm's length. Um, that's when I got the compliment. I just sprayed it before I left my house. I'm going to the grocery store, but um, for this one, it's not a crazy performer like some people say. <clears throat> I know uh, Kuba had the same issue when he first trying to smell it that it didn't smell super strong. Um, it was like that for me. Sorry, my heater just turned on and off. Um, it wasn't super strong off my skin pretty much the entire life of the fragrance, which sucked because I dig the scent profile. Um, this is definitely something I'm, I'm into and something different. I really do think you should check this out. I think it's on, on um, discount. It's like 50, 60 bucks. I think it's worth it for, for something like this that you can just rotate through and just wear something different and be a little bit more bold. That, that's who this is for. Someone who's bold and willing to take chances. Um, but with, yeah, with that, yeah, that's my review um, for Moschino Toy Boy. Um, like I said, please donate to um, Carlos's um, funeral arrangements. I'm going to link it down below, and I will catch you all later.